Welcome, one and all, to this video. Now, I've been working on a video for some time now, but due to the many time restraints, I instead decided to try and stream Rust during the one moment of free time I had in May. It was supposed to be only a super short fireworks event for the end of the first wipe on Sir Winter's Winter Rust server. Luckily, it turned out to be just a little bit more. I started the stream and proceeded to set up the last bits of the firework display and greet the wonderful people who joined my chat. Miss Cupcakes, welcome to the stream. Mr. Ruthless 699, welcome to the Artavis, stream. Tavis, welcome to the stream. Miss D, welcome Sensei to the stream. Sensei 6, welcome to the stream. I then invited anyone on server to my viewing base to see the show with me. And it turned out alright. Hello out there. Welcome. You know, on second thought, I'm gonna put the gun and grenades away. That... That might be a recipe for disaster. I'll keep the pickaxe. Thanks for joining the show. How's it going, Beam? You been here all wipe, or did you come recently? Exactly. You can never trust in Rust. I should, as a matter of fact, I should keep my eye on this guy. That's awesome. Thanks for coming by. And I think I've got some people coming in. Alright, come on down. If you can see the light, this is where I want you to land. <laughs> the guy's using a weapons flashlight. If that doesn't scream safety. Alright, looks like they're gonna hover and see it from the air. Sounds good. I know, right? Uh, hopefully, they're not too close to being over it, because then they'll just, uh, take damage from the fireworks itself and die. And I must say, I really do love the fireworks addition to Rust. Alright, here we go. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. All right. There we go. Happy server. Yeah, sorry about that, ABK. Alright, I think that's everything. Woohoo! That was fun. As with most things, they're short lived. Thanks for stopping by, everybody. And safe travels getting to your home. Everyone left happy, and just when I was about to go back inside, I saw this. Oh, look at that timing. Beautiful sunrise. Yeah, 
I, I really do love the yeah, fireworks. I hope you guys are a lot of fun to mess with. Enjoy the outfit I'm gonna put on. With a successful night over and some time to spare, I decided to try and do a raid on my nearest and smallest neighbor. I geared up. <laughs> there we go. That's more like it. Sir Winter t-shirt, frog boots, and the brand new chicken hat. I like it. Crafted and gathered what I needed. Oh, 69 bullets, all right. And ran where I hoped to find a small enough base. All right. Which direction should I go looking for a raid target? Yeah, I'll kind of show you guys around. And usually, the mountainside's where you can find the small bases. Oh. Oh, that's pretty active. Who are they shooting at? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm horribly conspicuous in this. Oh, well. So, given their activity, I should probably go this way. And obviously, there's the... Oh! Yep, I've definitely been spotted. And given that I have zero AK training, I'm probably gonna die. I think it's probably time to retreat. My first efforts were not so lucky. Bleh. Alright, that way's out. Too active. However, Lady Luck must have been favoring me that night, because I found quite the unexpected cash. Here's my full reaction. I appreciate the compliment. Oh, wow. Yeah, like every neighbor I've had has basically wound up like this. I have a feeling it's been looted. Alright. Well, that's recent if it's loot pet. <gasps> well. She's Louise. Alright, nothing I care about there. See, it's moments like this. You just, you never know. Oh, that's a cool sword. Not gonna lie. Ammo. No explosive again. Don't care, don't care, don't care, don't care, don't care. Not cool enough. Nope, nope. Pump, spaz, another AK. P2, Python. Oh, MP5, my favorite. I'll take the Thompson as well. I will be right back. Yeah, yeah, you can say scripted all you want. Let's see. Yep, heading right to my base. The odds of that happening, and them actually having loot. <laughs> Alright. I went back two more times. Each time, I combed through the containers, taking only what I wanted, and even making sure it was in the right condition as well. Of course I take the time to skin it. I'm not going on, I'm not gonna just take ugly loot. That's not how this works. The last thing I found was well worth the third trip, and would come into play perfectly later on. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. Now that I like. After finishing with that, I roamed unsuccessfully until nightfall. 
where I put on one more fireworks show. It looked even better than the first time. Happy Wipe Day, Nexus. Finally, I decided to go back where I went the first time. Loaded in. I think it's decayed. Alright, this was the base that had people on it. I don't see anyone now, though. After checking out several bases, I found one I wanted to raid. This one has a wooden door, which I got. I don't know if that'd be a waste, but I found all those stone shells. I could just slug through here. Or is it like what, one satchel? Do I go for it or do I leave it sit? Yeah, might as well. No point not having a little fun. This really doesn't want to blow up. Is it telling me not to go in? I don't like being told what to do. Come on, blow up. In the name of the narrator, I demand you explode. Are you kidding me? There we go. What I found was not what I expected, but I wasn't about to let that deter me from cracking it open. Well, darn. Yeah, we'll look at This would lead to a moment in rust you don't often get to see happen anymore. <laughs> no, not that one. What happens after that? Aw. So that's what I look like. So cute. As it turns out, all of my stuff was still there. And better yet, I got to have a pleasant interaction with the one who killed me. Hey, Scorbs, how's it going? Good, good, you? Doing well. That was a hell of a headshot. I thought the explosion killed me from that far away. Hey, Nexus, how's it going? Not bad. How are you? Pretty good. Lit off all my fireworks, had some gunpowder left over, so thought I'd see what was in this base. Ah, oh, fair enough. Um, it looks like nothing. <laughs> and nothing it was. But oh well, at least I got to see it. We talked out in the open. Pretty much uncaring if anyone came upon us, chilling out under that clear rust sky. Here's a few clips of it. That's just us playing the rig. Yeah, I gave it to us. And now it's mine! Ha ha ha! Yeah, that's the AK. No, sorry, we were running airfield, my bad. We were running airfield. These guys right. came out because of the heli where I feel we were trying to get it. We were right. airfield. And Bad. until we run 8 to get the heli, they both died. Respawn now. Yeah, respawn now. Close. And 
they came back. I gotta say, I'm just fascinated by his be ability to speak like that with that yeah, microphone. Oh, I this is my base right here. Eventually, as time wore on, I shared with them everything I had in my base and let them research what they wanted. I'd end up hanging out with this group of people all the way to the end, where they led me to the perfect spot. Well, about the traps, I got nothing in them. Oh, this is your base. I just took it over like 10 minutes ago. Wow, alright. Holy crap. Alright, I'm probably gonna have to go in just a minute. This is actually last And at long that long point. <laughs> well, I just couldn't resist. Well, gentlemen. Hope you're not too attached to your stuff. And that's it for me. <laughs> that was way too mean. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, this is the one, the only, the narrator. <laughs> and I think that's where I'm going to leave it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have a fantastic night.